Hey, what's your back at? And we just walked the losers. Losers! <laughs> okay, uh, Come out and play! <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. That is that gentle voice. I forgot. It's been around forever. Um, I enjoyed this movie. Thumbs up. No, we can't do two. That's bad. It's copyright. So, one thumb up at a time. Yep, apparently. Uh, uh. Well, uh, that's it. Um, yeah, uh, I really liked the tone of the movie. Um, mm-hmm. It reminded me a lot of Red. Yes. Um, just, like, fun action, like, a little over the, like, a pr- just over the top enough. Yeah, it was It, was it red. wasn't, like, Expendables. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Essentially, it's Red with a different joke base, whereas Red is the, the old people mm-hmm. who are action stars joke base. This is the, like... The college roommates joke base. Yeah. It's like these guys who like live in a quad together on a dorm and they don't yeah. get along and there's like the funny one and the quiet one, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Which fun fact, Chris Evans is the funny one. Yep. They're all the funny one. <laughs> but mainly Chris Evans. Mainly Chris Evans, uh, pretty solid. Um Yeah, anytime a character like makes everyone around him be the straight man to him mm-hmm. is is always good. An awful lot of uh human torch in the Chris Evans role. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I, th- I think that's that's fairly close to how Chris Evans is. is. <laughs> yeah. Which part why I got cast, I mean, Eric Goff, he walks, yeah. he walks in and just acts like that, and be like, fucking, why, why don't we break this guy? Yeah, it's, 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 it's like why Ryan Reynolds get cast, gets cast as things. Like, he, he does that well. Um, yeah, Chris Evans is great. Uh, Idris Elba uh, has saw his was kind of the more one of the more serious of the groups. Mm-hmm. Uh, the history moments were fun. Yeah, like he uh, he was solid. Um, I really liked Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Um, yeah, was the comedian from Watchmen. Yeah, because he was kind of limited. And he, uh, did you hear the story about when he his uh, his manager told him about Watchmen? No. Uh, I'm gonna jump in the gun and tell the story now. At this <laughs> minute, we're gonna have a lot of fun talking about. Um, he got sent the script, and his manager's like, his agent's like, you got to read this. I think the comedian is the perfect role for you. And so he picks up the script, starts reading. He calls him back to me, like five minutes later. He's like, "What the hell? My guy dies on page two. I'm not doing this movie." <laughs> like, no, dumbass, keep reading. He's like, oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so he had a visceral reaction. So yeah. well, I, that's true. Like, yeah. <laughs> and while while he's in the movie more than that, he's still I feel like there's so much going on in that movie that he's not in focus as much as he is in this film. Yeah, like he and and the comedian was very, is very much a like there there wasn't a whole lot of room for uh, range as far as acting. Like it was pretty the comedian is is fairly one note. I mean, there's a few, there's a few moments back and forth, but yeah, you don't meet really the comedian before he turned sort of into the comedian that we know. Yeah, and so he... Uh, uh, yeah, because the comics suggest that there was a time when maybe the comedian wasn't as crazy. <laughs> like like five minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, he, he, was, he was the leader of the group. He was the, um, the, the Liam Neeson of the A-team. Yay! Um, and I, I thought he did really well. It was great to see him, because I don't... I've, I think I've seen him in maybe one or two other things, but nothing, nothing where he had this big a part. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed him in that. Zoe Saldana was always great. Um, I don't know the name of the actor who played the the bad guy. Is she always great? Zoe Saldana. Yeah. You watched every single thing she's been in. Uh, not everything, but a lot of things. I almost watched uh, the Americanized Death at a Funeral just because she was in it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of her screaming, Awa has heard you in Avatar. I think she was the best. I'm also not. Act, a, like, the best actor in Avatar. I'm also not a big fan of script. Scorny Weaver. Yeah, she was Scorny Weaver being Scorny Weaver. Like, it wasn't. I know. Hey, I, I didn't say yeah, it. Yeah, there was we go. Scorny, Scorny Weaver, the best character in Cabin in the Woods. Spoilers. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Cabin in the Woods, you say? At the cabin? Are they. Are they they sponsoring us because I wear this shirt a lot too <laughs> because it's comfortable to sleep in. <laughs> um, have you seen anything? Did you see that? No, I haven't. Uh, I, I, I wanted to make more comparisons between that and this, but I have not seen the 18. I know. So. I kind of want to see it. I like some of the people involved. I, I and I like explosions. I was about to say I like all the people involved. No, as I don't know all the people. The people I do know, I like. Amy Neeson, Bradley Cooper, and oh, the dude from District Nine didn't have a name yet. 
doesn't have a name yet. It's like Char Charles Hill. Um, does the dude from uh, Studio 60 have a name? Do we know? Uh, Sorry, but dude from, no, Studio, he doesn't dude from Studio 60, we, we enjoyed you. Did yeah, he's great. Um, Man, he's going to be the one actor who stumbled across this and is like, no, <laughs> assholes. I don't even know my name. I'm sorry. I I didn't even recognize you right away. That's sounds no. death threats and old frame. It's like, oh, we got death threats. Finally. About time. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get him and baiting people. Put it right next to my Alan Tudyk restraining order. Oh, <laughs> they look lovely together. Uh, yeah, so the losers, you should you should watch it. It's one of the ones I thought that might be the answer. Like going in, it's one of the ones I hadn't seen. I was looking forward to actually watching. Um, which yeah, it's not like I liked all the trailers. They because yeah. they did remind me of that kind of red tone. Where it was just hey, you know what? We're gonna have fun. Yeah, and I did like I didn't. When I just said the name of the movie, you showed me the poster, like, in the back of my brain, I was like, I think this is something, but I don't remember anything about it. And as I watched the movie, like, all, like, the part of my brain that had the trailers to this unlocked. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yes, I remember all these specific scenes from the trailers. I remember the Chris Evans shooting. Yeah, that was, which I'm glad there was a lot more to that, too, than they mm-hmm. showed in the trailer, because I, I really liked that bit in the trailer. Yeah. And so I was glad there was more for me to enjoy. Yeah, I remember him taking a lot of Chris Evans stuff, because he's the funny one. So yeah. it's that, yeah. him taking his clothes off in the elevator. A couple of his like quips and one liners mm-hmm. in the trailer. So I remembered all those. Um, yeah, so this movie was a thing and it still is. So, yeah, I, I recommend this. Uh, I especially recommend it after you watch Superman 3. Oh, we needed it. <laughs> As you can tell, we're super excited. <laughs> Yay, this is, um, um, I've, been, I've been yawning and um, through almost all of the DC Dementia videos just because I haven't gotten any sleep recently. So, yeah, um, like, this movie is super good. Hey, during Marvel, you weren't working as much. I had no rehearsal. Well, I yeah, don't know. So we, yeah, we, we had a lot more. Now we're like, oh, God, we need to watch all of the movies. Mm-hmm. Um, now we're scheduling our life around these movies. That's it's, it's, This has gone to a horrible place. Um, yeah, so I, I recommend The Losers. Uh, anything specific I want to mention in that? Explosions. There are explosions. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's more. How's that? This is from a really comic gripping, comic. gripping video. Um, I, apparently it's pretty faithful to the comics from what you hear. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how faithful it is. I know the, the story was adapted from okay. the first six issues. Okay, well, I mean, maybe not completely faithful, but I mean, they leave, spoiler alert, they leave the bad guy alive at the end. I, mm. And it doesn't seem like sort of movie where they're like, oh, we're totally getting sequels out of this. It, but they left it open. They, like they, yeah, they left it open. They, they didn't have to have that closure, which is sort of nice. Mm-hmm. Um, has a nice comic tag on the end, the soccer game. That was fun. Oh, that was. Uh, I really, I really did enjoy that. Um, mm. That and I, I liked the, the the art style of the the title cards mm-hmm. and the like kind of pre credit stuff. Uh, oh, I also re- I really liked the way they did Locations. all of the location cards. Um, were they it looked like it was projected on the environment. Um, so, like, anytime they were placed with water, it's, like, on the water kind of moving. Um, it was, like, in a bunch of trees when they went to Bolivia. Like, it... Um, Shane, when you said that during the movie, I was sorting Game of Thrones cards. She's like, oh, I like the location cards. I'm like, fucking... Mm-hmm. Like, what, which, what about them? I, I like them, too. There's <laughs> a billion, and I'm tired of them. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I, I really liked... I thought that was slick. Um... <laughs> Ironically, I think that took me like I was. I almost said like, "Oh, I really liked it" because it kind of kept me in the the moment. But then I'm like, I, except I thought it was so awesome that I then realized I was thinking about it <laughs> instead of just enjoying it. So, right. uh, but I do that a lot, like because I like things that keep the audience there. So whenever I see something that's done really well, it has the opposite effect on me, but I still appreciate it. Well, any short title card. It, by its nature, it doesn't keep the audience in the story. It reminds you that you're watching yeah. the story. Um, so, depending on what you mean by that, I mean, it looked cool. That's the important thing. Yeah, I mean, it looked uh, It just kind of had that sort of in universe, like, almost like a video game feel. Like, I know there's some video, like, I think one of the, the one of the most recent, I don't think the most recent one, the Splinter Cell games did that. Um, like, it had a lot of, like, HUD information just straight up projected on walls and stuff. Mm. Um, that kind of kept it all kind of contained. 
Um, so there wasn't like an overlay separating you from the action. Oh man, speaking of things with you know, uh, Clayton saying it's just like searching for this. There's a game that's based on like the Cthulhu mythos, and there's no there's no HUD at all. There's no nothing. It's just you're with the point of view of the character, and you have to guess if you're dying. <laughs> you can't check your health. There's no way to check your health on a blood You just have to like sort of listen to your breathing and see if it sounds labored and how you're walking. There's a reason, like. It was. I think it was for Coming Xbox. Soon. I think it was for hmm. Xbox. It was like the late generation Xbox. I the name escapes me right now. Is it Sanity's Requiem? I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't remember what I thought. I thought there was a no. There's definitely a help bar on that because there's also a Sanity bar. Yeah. Um, this, yeah. That's what apparently though. There's no no information at all given to you. You just huh. you just walk and I'm like that sounds too intense. So yeah, I loved all the little things that Sanity's Requiem would do. Like when your when your character got to a certain like insane level, like just weird shit would start happening to the game. Like sometimes it would just like a little volume thing would appear and just like take all the volume down, but it looked like a TV mm-hmm. volume thing. Uh, that like one time I, I was watching my friend play and like he walked into a room and then his character's head fell off, just like fell on the ground and then he found out it was a pick upable item. Mm-hmm. And like whenever you pick up an item, like it. Like and examine it, it like zooms in and kind of rotates. And he did that. He picked up the head and zoomed in, and it started doing the "Alas, poor York" speech. Um, I guess he's holding this his own head. That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, and a lot of things like all of a sudden, like the like you'll walk down a set of stairs, and like your character will just like get smaller and smaller, so it, like messes with perspective. And, um, I remember being, things like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One it'll just look like a fly is on the screen, like walking around. Um, I, I remember Clayton and I were very upset that the the point lookout section of Fallout Three, mm-hmm. uh, when you get your brain operate on and everything gets crazy. Yeah, we we're upset that that wasn't like a permanent effect of like you couldn't take the fun to fruit and have that happen anywhere. <laughs> we're very upset there was a specific scripted area because man, that'd be great if you could just like walk through the wasteland. Like, you know what? This isn't crazy enough. Let's make it Jesus. Crazy. Uh, that that wouldn't be okay. I'm glad that's not a thing. Well, you have to choose it. You have to choose to take the drugs, Sam. I, I mean, all the so, cool kids are doing it, but it's your choice. It's, oh man, to be a loser. So Speaking losers. losers. <laughs> I think it's back. I think <laughs> that's gonna make him. That's, that's my response. You're paid by the sound, people. Paid by the sound. Um, so see it. Don't see it. I don't fucking care. It's, don't watch these videos. I want you to see it. Yeah, Sam wants to watch you watch it. So leave your blinds cre- cracked a little, like in the way that he can look down. He's not. Uh, he's like average height, so like adjust depending on how high your windows are. And, you can creep on. He wants to see you and, like, the edge of the TV. Like, if you sit really close, like, the glow of the TV on would be best. Um, and I, I, I don't recommend looking at the blinds while I was doing it. It's, it's, you know, just, you know what, don't. Don't do that. It's, uh, 